What we are hearing here isn't the normal buzz of a bee. This is bee communication. Bees generate the signals with their wing muscles. Vibrating them at a certain frequency produces a unique signal. In human terms, they are producing individual words. We are clarifying the repertoire of pulsed vibrations that honeybees use to communicate amongst each other. What Martin's saying is that he's writing the world's first bee dictionary. I like that expression, yes, a bee dictionary. <laughs> Bees live in very tight packing. This is the only way they can sustain the 35 degrees they need to live. It is a crammed society and uh, we think uh, often they collide into each other accidentally, causing the whoop that you can hear when we accidentally bump into each other in a tube station, we say, whoops, it is you, the one being the victim of the collision, who goes, whoops. <laughs> the quack, as it says, is, uh, sounds like a duck quacking. It goes, quack, 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 quack. Queen bees are generated in vertical cells, and uh, we think that uh, this uh, queen bee is uh, asking to come out. This queen bee has emerged from her cell, and she is roaming around the colony. broadcasting this uh, enormous, splendid, strong and long signal called the tooting. We think that uh, it manipulates the physiology of the worker bees, and we think the worker bees are led to keep the other queens, which are quacking, they are kept captive by the worker bees in order to avoid the presence of two mobile queens in the colony. Without this signal to the nurse bees, two queens would fight to the death, leaving the colony in trouble. <laughs> 